Hey guys, so a few days ago, a pageant fanatic from a neighboring country posted a comment in the comment section of one of my videos. And in it, basically, that person was saying that everyone knows that Thailand has surpassed the Philippines as the premier pageant powerhouse in Asia. And actually, that comment was very useful because it made me pause and stop to consider if whether he or she had a valid point. Just to give you a little bit of context, four years ago, Binibini Pilipinas, which was the premier national beauty pageant uh, in the country, lost its franchise um, with the Miss Universe pageant. And so, as a result, a new organization was formed, which is now Miss Universe Philippines Organization. The head of this organization is Shamsi Soup Soup, who was um, the representative of the Philippines at the 2011 Miss Universe pageant. We've had four years of observing how the Miss Universe Philippines Organization has operated and uh, how it has selected, groomed, developed, and packaged our delegate uh, to four different Miss Universe pageants the last four years, basically. And then last year, um, Anne J, I really can't pronounce the last name, I'm sorry, I'm gonna try. Uh, but just uh, to be clear, I'll just say Ann J. Um, <laughs> the, full, the Latinos call her Tia J, Tita J. No, sorry, Tita M, Tia M. Um, uh, acquired the Miss Universe organization. So we've had two years of Ann J and four years of Shamsi Soup Soup. So I call the last four years basically the new era of Miss Universe Philippines and of Miss Universe. So what I want to do today is compare the past four years performances of Philippines versus that of Thailand. This year it was a pretty good show because both Philippines and Thailand cracked the top 10. But obviously Antonia Porcild um, ranked higher than Michelle. She was uh, first runner-up, whereas Michelle was not even part of the top five. So if we're just going to compare Antonia and Michelle, Antonia did much better, performed better, had better results. Therefore, I'm going to give this year's... Uh, I'm going to give the winner of this year to Thailand. Now let's go to last year. We had, I forgot her name, Anne from Thailand. I think Anne is her name, so Miss Thailand of last year uh, versus uh, Celeste Cortezi. And mind you, Celeste Cortezi was a media favorite. Even the Latino press was naming Celeste as the top girl to beat at last year's competition. And we all know what happened. Both did not qualify. Both did not crack the top 20 or the top 15 or top 12. I don't remember. Anyway, neither one qualified. But the issue I have here was compared to Celeste, Miss Thailand of last year was nowhere near the level of Celeste. So um, there was a lot more expectation on Celeste to perform. And unfortunately, Celeste just wasn't able to come up with the goods last year. So with that said, even though both Miss Thailand and Miss Philippines did not qualify last year, I would give the win to Thailand for last year because there, uh, 
Philippines should have qualified because she was much stronger than Thailand. But they ended up being kind of on the same level. So um, the point is, it wasn't more. It wasn't such a loss for Thailand, whereas for us, it was truly a devastating loss. So that was a major loss for the Philippines last year. So um, if we look at the tally. This year goes to Thailand. Last year goes to Thailand. Now, three years back, it was Bea Gomez for Philippines, and I don't remember the name of Miss Thailand three years ago. She was very pretty, but kind of on the plus size, right? Bea ended up being in the top five, and then Miss Thailand did not qualify. So that alone. Based on that alone, uh, three years ago the win goes to Philippines. Then we have four years ago, the time when Shamsi Soup Soup took over, and that was the pandemic year, I believe. And we sent as a delegate for the Philippines, Rabia Mateo, and then for Thailand, I forgot her name, but she was really clearly like the top favorite. And she did well. She placed in the top five. Um, and clearly, that win for that year, four years ago, should go to Thailand. Three of the last four years at Miss Universe, <clears throat> Thailand performed better than the Philippines. So, um, with that said, I will have to agree. <laughs> Although it's really painful for me to say this, because I, of course, am a proud Filipino, um, that at this stage of the game, um, and the only game in town, really, I mean, let's just just be honest, the only real game in town is Miss Universe. All the other pageants, they're just like an appetizer for the main course, which is Miss Universe, and then Miss World. Uh, is like dessert, but the main course, like the steak and lobster dinner, is definitely Miss Universe, and it is the only pageant truly that I'm, I'm I get excited about. I think the other pageants they're just they're good to have, but it's, they're almost like just good practice events for uh, for candidates for for uh, for girls who want to eventually one day compete. At Miss Universe, so that's just my opinion. So, if the only game in town is Miss Universe, then we look at the results of the last four years. We compare Philippines and Thailand. Thailand, three out of the last four years, um, has performed better. And so, <laughs> um, I will agree with that uh, pageant fan that posted that comment. And so, what does that mean? So, what is the implication here the implication here is next year will be shamsi's fifth year as the head of the miss universe philippines organization and compare her track record to that of stella marquez uh from 2010 to 20 19 in which we were able to see two uh, girls from the Philippines being crowned as Miss Universe and then we had a first runner up we had several runners up uh, it's incomparable you can't really compare Shamsi's track record to that of Stella Marquez Albeit, it's true that Stella did, uh, under Stella, there was like a big drought of Miriam from 99 to uh, to Venus, right? So it was a, an 11-year drought. But when Stella Marquez was finally able to turn things around, it truly became like the golden years, the golden era. So next year is Shamsi's fifth year as the head of the Miss Universe organization and based on the results of next year um, we will have a clear 
clear idea whether or not Shamsi is a successful head of the most important pageant in the Philippines or perhaps it's time to look for another direction for another type of leadership but anyway um, that's it for now so yes based on the last four years Thailand has surpassed the Philippines in this universe my personal opinion only but it doesn't mean that we can't turn things around and it doesn't mean that um, we can't win next year but uh, I have to give it I have to give credit to where credit is due and so Thailand has been really doing well um, at Miss Universe so that's it for now I uh, hope you like this video please don't forget to subscribe and like um, but please subscribe because that will help me continue posting videos uh, for you guys and I'll see you next time bye